Yo guys, what's going on? What's going on? It's me, Chris the Chill, back at it again for a new manga to review today. And that is My Hero Academia. I've been reading My Hero ever since the end of season two. No. Yeah, the end of season two. Definitely the end of season two. I also reading the chapter during season three. So I'm really caught up to the series. And it's really good. I really like it a lot. Um there's a lot of stuff I wanna go over. These two chapters. Today I'm doing back to back chapters. And I wanna go over chapter two hundred and twenty and two hundred and twenty one. That's all I'm going over. And go be quick, easy, easy um, analysis on certain pages I want to go over that suck, suck out to me. The most so, without further ado, let's get into it. And you have in this chapter start off with a different change of pace of Shigaraki being the main league. The main focus of this um part of the story. Having the League of Villains pulling up in this random household where uh these occult guys call themselves the Church of Racial Cleanliness. They're basically a racist group known to be hating people with quirks. And they call these guys filthy illegal villains that is anybody with quirk call them filthy and they call them mutants which is really not all the ordinary if you ever watch x-men or anything dc yeah calling anyone mutants with a quirk is disrespectful period and the main reason why they came to the establishment is just for selling ornaments to get some cash. These guys, these racist racist guys, don't want none of their stuff to be sold off. And the end result, League of Villain killed them off one by one. And the narrator for all for this event happening is all spinner. Well, I never <laughs> see Spinner as the guy who, like, talk about stuff when it comes to the league, ever. I see him with his, uh, one of uh, Chicago's lackeys, and that's the end of that, really. So, it's really a different pace of just what Spinner's thinking on when he's, like, with the league. Instead of Shigaraki's mindset. Don't know why. But it's, it's it's something. It's really something. I like that. I guess I like that. The heavy spinner just being a voice to like what's going on, what should be going on right now, whatever. So uh, we turn. We come back to the, the league's new hideout. I guess. Supposed to be somewhere else, else in the outskirts of town. They're, I know they're in the woods. So they're in the woods and they're chilling. And uh, it's tough. It's really tough. All oh, gonna be. <laughs> they're wrecked down place. And through all of this, it, everybody just, you know, doing their own thing, kind of hanging out or whatever. And it turns out that Shigaraki was only waiting for like two major things to meet up with the doctor. So, um, uh, what the hell was that? What the hell? Uh, yes. Shigaraki plan was just being seeking the doctor for assistance. And the doctor was served all for one. And having the power. To help out the league that Kuragiri was going after, you know, Warp Gate guy. 
in a warp gate guy was nowhere to be seen because got cut by the heroes so wherever the power they were looking for is probably someone who was really really useful and spinner broke his silence telling Sigaraki all you doing is a waste of time none of this is insane he told Sigaraki he only did this because you know believe in state in ideology same with Doppy Doppy is his own guy when it comes to ideology he agrees he's not that unholy with staying like that to almost dress up like him no completely different and when before um, Sigaraki was about to tell Spinner off he got interrupted by Okay. Okay. And so, no matter. So, um, ground was shaking, and obviously the big Q's guy again. I was previously revealed all those chapters ago. Or after the eightfold cleaners were defeated. That was a lot of chapters ago too, so what happened then? What happened then to now is really somewhat surprising. So really So really Shigaraki or automatically knew that the strength he needed is right in front of him. No problem is that he can't get it so easily. Because this guy who came out of nowhere challenged Shigaraki and he's getting to fight. And the end result was clear. There's no way to compete him. Until this one radio that uh, Bay Duke carried with him spoke. Saying, You seem like a stuck. Sigaraki and automatically Sigaraki knew who it was all for one's doctor and that will be in the chat what leads to next you better get into that right now so sit tight now we're in chapter 221 and a lot of stuff is going on and it's crazy. By the look of things, the doctor finally spoke. As he gonna like help out and stuff like that. Now it's just the matter of survival for these guys. And the actions of the guy, he's finally at his name. Giganto Machia. I don't know how I said his name right, but that happened now. Turn out this guy is the right, somewhat the right hand man of all for one. In other words, his somewhat his bodyguard. I want to say his right hand man because when it comes to strength, I looked at that first and foremost. This guy is really destructive, dangerous. And what makes him dangerous is that the, the guy, the doctor, said that he wields multiple quirks like a gnome would. The difference is, he still has his thought process, he still has his mindset, he still has everything that thinks of him. So it's really a matter of... Yeah. Like... This man is powerful. So powerful that... <laughs> Off one hit him away. Not for himself, but for Shigaraki. Cause mind you, all for one knew that his time was coming. And he was playing to someone to hurt his power and his will. Shigaraki. Now Shigaraki is that guy. Who don't even know 
all the things he should do. He knows he's supposed to like make out his own ways or plans of society, but all the details of all his plans going into it is just still vague. We still need direction. Yet we haven't seen it. So that goes for Giganto Manuka, the other guy, the doctor. We still have not seen him yet. And and what I realized this after that this giant giant dude is really adorable when it comes to intense heat. Because what happened was um Dopi put all his flames against this guy. And all he got was burnt marks. That was it. The burns didn't even phase him. And what stops um what really stops this giant from advancing was the recording of all form. Now this guy's loyalty is so strong. So in debt so in debt to off one that he will listen to him no matter what. Even if it like be a recorded audio of off one, he will listen to him. Period. And it's kinda what you say you want to think about it. Yeah. Mm. It's been official for that cause. Well, it will probably get killed when it's doctor. Now with the doctor's abilities, we finally know what it is. Straight up teleportation. Teleportation that was used during the the hideout, hideout raid arc, you know, say luck. Same ability that was used to transport them to somewhere else near off one. And I thought off one had this ability. Turns out it wasn't the fact. It was the doctor who had this ability. The fact he's able to like transport anybody was a, maybe a thought. Or is this more to this um, ability that meets the eye? It says a lot. So, it's pretty strong. After that, I found out that the doctor to- teleported everybody into his lair. And you see somewhat of an image of the doctor. Kind of reminiscent to someone else we know. Well, we haven't got enough screen time with him, but he always been, been part of the shadowy backgrounds. <laughs> you see that he has like a, a bald head, glasses, and a bushy ass mustache. And along with that, you see how the layer is. They have full test to a normals. All of them were just different from the last. <laughs> Only in normal was really just legit monsters in the last. And this guy, this doctor, just berating, just boasting about how crazy this new, this new normal is, calling them high end. With the last time we saw a high end movie, he was freaking having even putting Endeavor on the shirt. Having more of the high end movies be out here. It's literally just dangerous to society as a whole. So that's really important to keep that in mind for. Maybe these guys will ever be useful in the future. And we find out more about the doctor. It turns out he don't like being, you know, being close contact with. Him. Oh, yes. I guess it's driven to the league. So it's basically like a personal space kind of thing. And he also threatened to like send them out there right away if they get too close. And they're out there in front of Santa Monica to like do a wreak havoc. And it just eventually killed them. Now, this is really important too. But how both of these guys have loyalty to awful. And by having the doctor saying that. My technology, these children, and my very life were all offerings to the great awful one. And all, and Shikaraki was just a, a kid who was just getting some parts, pieces, pieces of it. And the, 
and all these loyalties slowly, slowly sworn to all four. The whole problem is that they don't think Shigaraki deserve it wholeheartedly that awful one. I think he should get it. And even if he is the successor, he ain't gonna be given to him easily. Basically, they're saying that they should work for their loyalty. The last page ended off with, and he ended off with this question saying, Where are you worth 20 something? Trash of society going to show me Thomas Shigaraki because for this he said that that you have accomplished nothing basically all the things he done to this point it just not much going on going on he's saying that Shigaraki didn't cause anything to give him respect and respect is a huge thing in this game he would like so Shigaraki is still not real well respected at all so whatever Shigaraki plans to do with this new arc is gonna shock everybody I just hope Hiroshi actually knows the ends of ourselves what Shigaraki is up to <laughs> because I don't know at this point Shigaraki what the plans he gonna do? I have no idea. This kid, this kid really is unpredictable. When it comes to things that he wants. <sighs> it's really, 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 really hard to adjust. It's really hard to adjust. Oh, the only thing that Shakaraki wanted to ask Doctor for is to get a bullet that he has. A bullet which is the anti quirk bullet. But the hard is to it. Not all you want, but the end result it just all about luck. The end of the chapter. Now I'll see you guys later on. Peace. But the only thing I know that Shigaraki wanna do is 